This window was recently replaced. Looks like it, yes. You know which window has not been recently replaced? The one I smashed in my room? Yes, that one. Cold wind is seeping in right now. Just one floor below you. Messing up your concentration here. Oh boy. Stop distracting him! He has work to do! Plus, if I recall, the window has been giving him shit ever since he got here! <laughs> okay, um, let's... Am I doing something wrong? I think speed is for yellow checks. You don't think it... But, um, it does say plus one motorics, which is the, um, yellow checks, plus one psyche, which is the purple checks. Minus one morale. That's what it says on the, um, speed bottle. Yeah. Kind of a OP. If I could figure out how to use it. Am I still under the effects from when I took it last? It's not working. Clicking on it's not working. Maybe it's because I have um, something in the other hand. Maybe I need to half it with two hands. Hmm. I'll figure this out. Let's try putting it in our other hand. Yeah, there we go. I've got. To, you've got to click in a really certain way. Motorics raised. Okay, it does say motorics raised. Yeah, my psyche's raised as well. Right, let's give it a go. It's still going to be a tough Looks check. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Titus does not look particularly happy to see it. Okay, 17% isn't terrible. It's going to be tricky, but it's not awful. Let's try. As you look around this room funny. full of sweaty men, swearing, drinking, spitting out tobacco, does this look familiar? The speed was all I needed. Godly success, baby. I rolled a 16. I didn't even need... I don't even think I needed the... Uh... Did I need it? I might have needed it. Um... Where have I seen this before? I believe the place was called Precinct 41. It was also filled with, almost exclusively, men. Sitting on desks, talking shit and wasting time. You seen Apricot, old Purdue's daughter, asks Lieutenant McCoy. Uh-huh, replies Torson. The ass on that one. Well, I need McCoy to shakes his head in appreciation. Off of speed. A bit strange the old man named her Apricot. But, I mean, who am I to judge? Wanna hit the kebab joint? Yeah, it's worth mentioning actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you come down, come around and watch me on Twitch, you can spend channel points to do the uh, Kuno doesn't care alert thing that H did earlier. I'll show you it again. Fuck, does Kuno care? Kuno turns off in the bottom right corner. <laughs> Just to say that he doesn't care. Uh, I get it, Titus. You guys really are the authority around here. Oh. You must be. You're just like real cops, drinking beer and sitting around with your dicks in your hand. <laughs> you got a problem with beer now. No, man. Oh, Jesus. And also there's an oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus alert Not as quite well. there yet. Push on. Uh... <laughs> uh, no, I'm a big fan of beer and jerking off instead of helping people. <laughs> you saying we don't? Help people. That was probably a bad thing I've to say, but I thought it would be this funny. Job for ten years. Martinez was a dump before we put this outfit together. They don't know, man. They weren't here. We had three shootings a week. Kids dead. Fucking graffito everywhere. You cops haven't shown up since the thirties. Congratulations on the graffito removal. All I see is you sitting around talking about Monica's titties <laughs> while there's a rape victim. So what? What do you want from me? We took care of that fuck. Don't let him drink that. One more push. Quick. Just don't antagonize him. You have this already. Okay. It's not about who did it. It's about the victim. She needs help. Titus? He looks at He looks at her. She stops mid-sentence. That's it. You got him. He's going to give it up, but on his turn. See? 
but we needed was that little half a speed. Help her, cop. Fine. I'm gonna let you help her, but you treat her with. I wonder respect. if it's her. If you don't, if you question her, harass her. A freight train of pain, buddy. What is her name? The lieutenant takes out his knife. Glossia. Oh no. I'm on you. She's staying here at the whirling in rags. Oh my god. We pretty. talked to her at the very beginning, I think. Silvery Maybe. jumpsuit. Blonde. That's I'm on you. With an O. U. Shit. The girl. The girl upstairs. The yeah. girl upstairs? The that one I gave my sex be. eyes. That was a bad idea. Remember what you said to her? You told her you want to have. Yeah, I know. That was. Oh, it's her. It's definitely her. It's Miss Oranje, disco dancer. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> I got minus one because I said I don't remember being caught. Minus one because I said I don't remember reality. Minus two because I said I wanted to have fuck with her. Minus one because I'm a super. I said I'm a superstar cop. I am a superstar cop. Damn it! Should we try it? Let's try and keep our cool, oh boy. We have got a six as well. All of those pluses and all those minuses really don't add up. We've had luck you today, though. Fuck! Double, double ones. After the victim's name, with your eyes bulging like some wild beast, your fingers are fidgeting and sweat starts forming on your brow. Oh boy! As Titus looks at you oddly. I don't understand what's so cool here. Nothing. We just have a few more questions. Then we'll be on our way. It sounds like you're having Dude, a I'm heart ready. attack. Whatever you said, it couldn't have been that bad. Please relax. Whatever you do, do not tell him <laughs> you know her. That would sound off. Uh, so what was her relationship with the mercenary? Relationship? There was no fucking relationship. He raped her. That's yeah, not... their relationship. Okay. Something is off here. His anger is mm, possessive. Yeah. It was like that karaoke incident all over again. Or like some of the other girls he was harassing. Okay, enough. All of this is irrelevant to your stated investigation. I reckon there was a relationship going on. So, what was what is your relationship with her? I know her. Hmm. How well do you know her? A small twitch in the corner of Kim's mouth. He has a hunch yeah. about what knowing. I mean, we all know. We all know. Everyone in the room knows what's going on here. Well enough, Copper. We party. She's been here for a few months. He crosses his arms. He tries to make it sound real casual. But the muscles on his neck tighten. So she's not from around here. You mean Revishal? Nah. She's an immigrant. Or a drifter of some sort. Been staying here over the winter. Don't you give her any more trouble. She's just had some bad luck, that's all. Shut up, Angie. <laughs> I was she just about to say that. Help. What the fuck up, Angus? Titus gives them both a look. They fall silent. What's with all the silences? It's like these guys don't know how to feel about this. You should keep picking at it. Um. No, we are not saying that. Uh, so, um, the rape, when was that? He did it before we killed him. He's not gonna do it again. So what does it matter? It would help if we establish a timeline. Yeah. All right, two weeks maybe. I don't know. I need another beer. Here you go, boss. Good one, boss. He's that guy, is he? Um, the tool belong throws him a can. Titus cracks it open. You said you parted. Cool, that's cool. But what did you mean? No, we know what he means. Should we ask him anyway? Let's do it. What do you think I meant? Uh. Did you do karaoke? Yeah, tons of it. All the songs. So you're saying the two of you are close? No, we just fucked. Whoa! That's all. I'm not gonna give you any details if that's what you're after. So put your dick away. Zip, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, indeed. God, that's loud. With this topic. That's all you're gonna get for now. 
<laughs> that's really... I don't know why that's so loud. The fuck does Kuno care isn't that loud? I, may, I might need to adjust that. It's hella loud. It makes me, made me jump out of my skin. Uh, wait, what did he say? He really went out of his way to seem comfortable with the type pick. That's all we're going to get from now. Thank you. We'll talk to her. Remember what I said. Freight train of pain. Okay, I'm going to take off now. What a response. No, we just fucked. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Kim's got something to say. Officer, what was that? What was what? Is it because I did the speed? You looked strange when he mentioned the assault victim's name. Do you know that woman? Uh, am I still in earshot here? I'm going to say yes. Is there something I should know before we talk to her? I didn't rape her. <laughs> um... I tried to hit on her. Understood. Uh, she said I'm going to have to interrogate her later and it's going to suck for me. It is. This would have been good to know before. It didn't come up? It should have. Anything else? I met her in the hallway after I Understood. woke up. You were not in good shape on Monday. She knows I didn't remember being a okay. cop. Okay, that's manageable. Yeah, all right, let's move on. We'll be all right, officer. This is nothing. Do you feel fortified Ooh. by his assurance? It's going to be all right. Nice. We'll take another bit of dealing. Right, I think we're gonna have a we're gonna have a chat with her, and then we're gonna wrap things up here for this week. Kim's approval is literally healing. Yeah, you're right. Isn't this her? Her, um, door? The door is closed. No. Who is it? Woman's voice answered, muffled by the door. This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. I'm drying my hair. She's been having a shower, like, since yesterday morning. Sounds like it's coming from upstairs somewhere. You could snoop around before going up. All right, let's snoop around. Hotel bill calculations. Looks like she had an extended stay. Well, we already knew that. Piles of dirty clothes. A woman's. Ooh. The room has sad written all over it. Reminds you of your own. Yeah. What about here? This medicine cabinet is full of wares. Sheets of pills, haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. Look at the toothbrush. I don't it's know why. It's been used quite a lot. I mean, it's a toothbrush. What do you want? Look at the medication. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves, sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops, blood thinners. It's quite a collection. Here. Anything of not? Search the bottles. Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol, histoperidol, something in a foreign language you can't read. Behind them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads, Necra. What's Necra? An opioid receptor antagonist. Mm. It's used for diamorphine overdoses. Wow, that sounds useful. You could useful. say he's on the lookout. Huh. Search the pill sheets. Among some foreign, probably Mycenaean or Gottwaldian, marked red blister packs you find. What do you find? This is going to take a little know-how. Oh. The magnetic dice set actually helps me with electrochemistry. That's good. Let's quickly change our clothes. I've got. I've definitely got something that helps me with electrochemistry. We'll work on these gloves. I'm sure I have something else as well. These pants. Uh, they're also pants. Do I have any of these? Are any of these getting rid of electrochemistry? No. Okay. This medicine cabinet is so eighty-three percent. Plus Come an on. old, a bright yes, orange bottle with well. peptide stamped on it, in sunny, happy letters. Jackpot, baby! That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic container. 
What's so exciting about this orange bottle? It's speed, man. Just what you were looking for. Oh, damn. They call it dextroamphetamine and talk about psychological disorders. But what we're seeing here is some scientifically advanced trucker speed. Shit, that sounds good. Right, let's um, put on our interfacing stuff. So we can whip it. Do any of these get rid of an in interfacing? Still got the bottle of speed in my hand. I don't think I have anything else that helps with interfacing. No. This medicine cabinet is special peptide. There it is. The orange sun we're in. I got sweaty pack. hands. You feel almost oh, is it nostalgic. Is for that it? the speed? I don't know. It's fine. Grab Silently, it. yes. the bottle slides into your palm. Then, as you turn, into your pocket. Nice. It feels so sleek and beautiful. You got it. Here comes the afterburner. Time to become a super detective again, Harry. Just put it in your sweaty little hand now. Close the cabinet. Nice. All right, what else have we got here? The yard below a corpse hangs from pine tree. So have I got two bottles of speed now? Oh, so this works just the same as speed, but I've got three uses of it. Let's put the other bottle of speed away. <laughs> okay. Now we're good to go upstairs. You feel someone watching you behind the glass door, a woman. The bed has been hastily made. Look at this window. This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to it. Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. Run your fingers across the surface of the glass. Smooth as ice. There are spots of mud and rain on the outside, even smudges. But the surface of the window is clear from the inside. No chips, no hairline fractures. Following your lead, the lieutenant leans in closer to inspect the surface. This window was recently replaced. Looks like it, yes. You know which window has not been recently replaced? The one I smashed in my room? Yes, that one. Cold wind is seeping in right now. Just one floor below you. Messing up your concentration here. Oh boy. Stop distracting him! He has work to do! Plus, I? if I recall, the window has been giving him shit ever since he got here! <laughs> okay, um, let's get ready for this questioning. Make sure we've got everything on that's good for... I think my... I don't think I'm going to need authority here, I don't think. Um, I don't think I'm going to need drama either. Logic might be useful. I think composure is going to be better than electrochemistry. Yeah, I think I'm good. I don't want to lower my... Maybe visual calculus? <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe hit save. I'm not sure how this goes if you said you wanted to have fuck with her. Okay. I was testing out my, my look. Smell of cigarette smoke in the air. Astra Manthal. Look, a handful of dried white... Wildflowers. No, oh, hang on. I had another thing. Just as you look at the flowers, a gust of wind raises them from the roof, picking them up in the air. Let's try and grab one. You catch a single Woo! white flower between your fingers. The rest fly off into the wind. It's a Maybell. The young woman looks at the Maybell in your hand. Just a glance, then takes a drag of her cigarette. The lieutenant gives you an acknowledging little nod. Old coffee and an ashtray that looks like a hedgehog here. Yeah. Welcome to the roof. 
A young woman has a cigarette in her hand and a cup of coffee in the other. Her hair is still slick from the shower. Below her silvery jumpsuit, an athletic young body, built long and lean. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Is there a cleaning lady? I think I need one. Oh, yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. Disco infer Infernum. <laughs> they also say that's why the cleaning lady quit. Because of the Infernum. Oh, shit, sorry. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I'm a detective from Prison 57. I believe you have already met my colleague from Prison 41. Have I ever? This is the one and only superstar cop. Damn right. It's kind of a big deal around here. Uh. Martinez is very lucky. Only one in a thousand cops wakes up as, as the superstar cop. Wow. What brings the Phoenix back to me? Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man who was hanged. The people responsible have asked us to talk to you. Huh. I see. She takes a pensive drag of her menthol cigarette. Be careful. Ask something else first. When you go there, use words like, I hear you have been through something difficult. Uh, what's your name, miss, for the record? Clausier Amondu. And where are you from? Vredefort, Republic of Oranje. Uh, what is Oranje? A bad memory, officer. A bad memory of what? Of lilacs and lightning. Sparks, glass. Duraluminium. Vredefort is a conference city. It's always autumn there. That sounds amazing. At night. At least it was for me. What's so bad about that? Nothing. If you're no longer there. The conference centers are filled with people who get angry at you if you do something wrong. Did you do something wrong? Sooner or later, everyone does. What do you do, miss? Uh, how old are you? I'm 28. What is your specialization? Something stupid. Wanna hear what's stupid? Somewhere in a one-room apartment on Boogie Street. A young man shows patrol officer Tilbrook his genital warts, <laughs> ask him if they're cancer. Oh, jeez. His partner, Emil Mullins, can't be there. He's in another apartment with another man who's showing him a dead dog under the radiator. It's dead, Mullins says. No, the man replies. I touched him. He's warm. He's warm, Mullins replies, because he's under the radiator. You're a cop? No, no. More stupid. What an ease lit. What an ease lit? What an ease literature. Oh. It's what I studied at the university. Okay, back to you. Back to me. Uh, can we take a look at your passport, please? I'm afraid you can't, officer. Why is that? Because it's buried in a sealed plastic bag at an undisclosed location on the coast, along with cash and airline tickets. Thank you for your candor. Why? I say so in your tourist brochure. Keep travel documents away from your person when west of the river. Hmm. Huh. Okay then. Okie dokie. She pours herself more coffee. If any of this made her nervous, it certainly doesn't show in her expression or her movements. Okay, that's it for the record. The record? So official. Uh... They tell us you've been through something difficult. Oh, what is this wildflower? She looks at the dried petals in your palm. Then she lightly say, touches guys. one with her fingernail. Chipped white polish covers the nail. It's long and sharp, like a mini dagger. The petal crumbles on contact. Pretty. Looks like a dried Maybell. Is that the one you caught? Sambo style? Uh, why, why was it there? Why was there a flower on the roof? I don't know, officer. She because loves of the wind? Or an admirer? 
Any admirers, miss? Oh, admirers. is that dude? I'm too old to be a debutante. And this place is no fashionable society. Oh, uh, boy. I've noticed your room is close to mine. I have a personal question. Oh, boy. Uh, no, let's say... Let, they tell us you've been through something difficult. Something difficult? I've been through at least half a dozen difficult things. Which one do you mean? Uh, well, you were sexually assaulted, miss. By sexually assaulted, you mean raped? Yes. So it's quick drag, unperturbed. Yes. It's a bit early in the morning for raped, isn't it? She sounds positively buoyant, vivacious, totally unbothered. Actually, it's already afternoon. Is it? She looks around, the spring sun is high in the sky, people pass below. It is afternoon. Time flies, man. So, wait? Yeah. I'm gonna go with not raped. I don't want to say that shit about him. By him, she must mean the victim. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more, uh, rapeable. Jesus. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up Wow, a bit. so she wasn't. Some assault and battery. Sexual assault, maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus is exactly right. Huh. What did happen between you and the victim? We partied. You mean like a birthday party? <laughs> what kind of partying? Like the kind I do? With all due respect, sir, I think we partied a little harder than that. No one parties harder than me. I'm off my tits on speed right now. Please, you're alive in 50. I've known people who party so hard they're dead at 14. What did you do when you... Partied. Those people were lightweights. <laughs> we drank, sir. A oh, lot. drink. Oh. For weeks, basically. Wow. We had that effect on each other. I've been drinking for years we made so each far. each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. Huh. What else? Stimulants. Speed also has that effect, making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. We also had sex. Were feelings involved? A little. The drugs were good enough, and we did enough of them. How did you two meet? The lieutenant's voice is quiet, calm. Downstairs, at the bar. He was on some sort of assignment. Uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. She appears aloof, but that scar part, the scary, is stressed and drawn out. What's that about? Apprehension? With longing, she misses him. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort out this fucking... Dearly. So she when was this? She's probably not happy about him being... deaded. A month ago? Something like that. Hmm. How do the Hardy Boys know you? I think he was jealous. That was the... He was probably jealous of this, right? I think he... He he has feelings for her and he was jealous. How do the Hardy Boys know you? They're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for union members. They're probably down there now. And how did you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. Did you party? A little, yeah. Like you partied with the deceased? No. Not, not as hard, hard yeah. Okay. I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? Oh, she definitely did. I have. And which one? Which ones, sir? Whoa. 
I don't remember precisely. Titus, obviously. But as I said, it's been a long winter. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? Could that be why they lynched him? Jealousy? Dude, I called it. I'm one step ahead of this, this dialogue. I hope Every not. time. Actually, I know that's not the reason. Oh, okay. I'm careful I'm about that kind of thing. Not crossing the wires, you know? But that's probably where they got the rape idea. But they knew, dude. What do you mean? Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like to do to me. Hmm. Well, what did they hang him for, then? He had something to do with the strike. One has been royal oh, since true. I got here. Rotten timing. But you probably know all about it. Yeah. And his role in the strike was... what? He was... he was... I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military. Worked for Wild Pines. And against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. And they lynched him for it? She nods. Titus asked you to spice things up for us? Pretty much. Warming them. Hmm. Alright, thank you for telling us all this, miss. I'm sorry, but we're not quite done here yet. No. Oh. We have more questions. Better to be thorough now than have to come back to this later. Okay, fine. Uh, are you sure you weren't raped? I'm 89% sure. Does that mean you're 11% not sure? You know how it is. Okay. Do you? Do I? Hmm. Maybe you don't. Oh, I failed half that damn. There are numerous <laughs> cigarette burns on those silvery scales. Easy to see now that you're closer. In conclusion, officer, I'm going to go with a mild to medium not raped here. No, sexual assault is a serious matter. I need a serious statement from you. Serious. She takes a long, hard drag of her cigarette, then stretches her neck. You hear cracking in her shoulders. Let me make this 100% clear then, officer. I was not sexually assaulted. I suppose so. Would I be this flippant if I had been? Okay, what can you tell me about the victim? Name, age, eyes? I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. He's still hung up there, but... I keep seeing him. Mm. Like he is now. I can't talk about his... I don't know... Hair? Another puff, more nervous. I know, it's difficult, miss. We it, can return to it later. It must be hard for you, point to the yard, seeing him there all the time. Oh, yes. I have multiple viewpoints. From the roof, out of the bathroom window, in my dreams. Hey boy. A bitter cringe. It hurts. We need to get our body to the down. He takes a small step closer. You called us, the RCM. Oh, dude, yeah! <gasps> dude, mind blown. I should, I should have seen that coming. Yes. It was her. Jackpot. Dude, she didn't. I think she she said she wasn't the one that called at the beginning as well. I mean, I, obviously, the call putting the hanging that was you. I made it, and I would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. In Martinez, they call it snitching. Okay. Reporting crimes is confidential in Ravachol, Miss. The caller's voice was disguised. I didn't exactly disguise it. I just muffled the mic and nicked the landline a little. Nicked it how? With nail clippers. Huh. And That's I diverted actually pretty some cool. radio fuzz into it, into the cold wire. That's very uh, industrious. Which landline? The one downstairs, officer. I used the whirling landline. Yeah, we would That's do that. That's some clever tampering. Yeah. Simple and clever, crossing the lines like that. Seems like you had some idea. That was nifty. Thanks. Why go through all the trouble? I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk too. I was probably afraid the union was listening in. Locals say they have ears in the wires. Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to, sir. And he's still hanging there, 
Yeah, we really need to get him we down. We move the body to the morgue today, miss. Don't oh, boy. I've got, now I've got to do it today. Thank you for telling us all this, miss. She breathes a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. As he says so, you feel the young woman looking at you and get a feeling you can't quite put your finger on. A suspicion? Hmm. I had something else before we go, a little thing. She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. Okay, no, we're not, we're not going here. Let's return to this Why later. Not? I'll be here until 11 p.m. Drinking coffee, most likely. All right. We're going to talk to Kim next week when we play. Um, I'm going to have a super, super quick break. Uh, and then we're going to get on with some Apex with H. So let me save. Well, I'll see you guys in a bit.